Welcome to the Millennial Mind, Why Should I Care? It's in support of the Women's Brain Health Initiative, the only charitable foundation that provides education and funds research to combat brain aging diseases, specifically diseases that affect women. The earlier you start looking after your gray matter, the better the cognitive outcome. As a millennial, you may be thinking, okay, that's the last thing I want to worry about is my brain. I'm building my career, I'm starting my family, I'm getting my first house. All of these things are really important in your life, but so too is protecting your brain. There are some things we can change that have a strong positive impact on how our brain ages and preventing dementia. Some of these things are eating well, working out, quitting smoking, drinking less, stressing less, and sleeping better. Women respond more strongly than men to certain types of stress, namely social stress. Did you know that as they age, men find their spouse stress reducing? Women, on the other hand, find their spouse stress enhancing. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> that sort of unwind, disconnect, almost that mindful meditation to really let your brain recover. I wasn't sure like, you know, how graphic I should get with what I do uh, for stress relief. But Go ahead. Or... <laughs> Is everyone in your office used to this behavior? I think when you're going at it, you have to just be open-minded to different things that, are, that might happen to you. You might succeed, you might fail. You have to pivot on the spot, especially with startups and any career that you're, you're doing. So I think you just have to be open-minded going forward. I definitely had a series of mentors and uh, I think it comes back for me at least about curiosity and about not being afraid to go to, you know, reach out to people that I want to learn from. You know, the must-have and the nice-to-have with, uh, with, with business uh, really started to become a must-have and nice-to-have with my life and my health and my time for me. Remember, donations to the Women's Brain Health Initiative are fully tax-deductible and they go to funding, additional education programs, and more research to combat brain aging diseases that affect women, so please keep that in mind. Donations of any amount are truly appreciated. You can also support the initiative by purchasing a Hope Not. And thank you again for joining us. Please enjoy the rest of your evening and let's give our panelists one more big hand.